Dave Wilson came to Rocky Mount as a startup specialist to help launch the Texfi plant in the early 1970s. After doing so, he began looking for a sideline business he could own. One of the ideas he explored was to start up a company that provided wooden pallets for some of the manufacturers in the area that trucked manufactured products around the country. After analyzing how this opportunity worked, Dave began East Industries in 1975 in a former tobacco warehouse on Highway 301 in Rocky Mount. Since then, East Industries has become one of the most successful pallet manufacturing, remanufacturing, and distribution companies in Eastern North Carolina. The company outgrew its first two locations and today is housed in a multi-building complex in North Rocky Mount. It offers customers stringer or block style pallets as well as new, recycled or remanufactured pallets. Companies distributing healthcare, pharmaceutical and food products may require the use of new pallets for shipments such as theirs. But the majority of local shippers, including beverage companies and specialty manufacturers, realize significant savings by shipping their products using a combination of both recycled and remanufactured pallets. This is why East Industries has developed a step-by-step -step procedure for pallet refurbishing. From March to September each year, when produce shippers are active, East Industries has a 50-person workforce at its 60,000 square foot production facility to keep its program operating. There is also a separate building used just for the construction of specialized pallets. The company also maintains a fleet of 100 open road trailers in its trailer yard that are constantly being dropped off and picked up from customer sites by the company trucks. When pallets are returned to the company's production facility, they are inspected for damage. Most often, they can be recycled by replacing a few deck boards, blocks, or stringers. However, when they are too damaged for further use, they are disassembled and the good lumber is inventoried and used again to construct remanufactured pallets. Remanufactured pallets are built using only reclaimed lumber stripped from other pallets or by using a combination of both reclaimed and new lumber. North Carolina law prohibits pallets from being put into landfills in the state. So when a pallet component is cracked, badly stained, or beyond repair, it goes to a grinding operation where it is reduced to decorative landscaping mulch. Because East Industries now produces 5 million pounds of wood waste each year, both homeowners and professional landscapers can buy bags of the red dyed ground up pallet product at garden centers throughout the area. Most pallets processed through East Industries meet the standard 48 inch by 40 inch size and are designed to hold up to a ton of weight. However, the company offers a full range of pallet designs and shapes as well as custom designs. Pallet sizes are determined by factors such as the sizes of customers' doorways, warehouse rack space, semi-trailer width, product dimensions, and whether forklifts or pallet jacks will be used to move the pallets. The pallet construction industry has become a major part of the commercial transportation system in the United States. Nationally, over one billion pallets are being moved every day of the year. When you consider that each pallet costs a shipper $8 to $8.50, the overall revenue from pallet sales and service is significant. On average, East Industries customers use 50 to 100 pallets per day, 365 days a year. One of the company's major customers sends out 150 trucks daily loaded with its products on pallets. Because of the high demand for pallets in the region, Dave Wilson has direct competitors in nearby markets such as Butner, Siler City, and Smithfield. This is why he uses a 75-mile radius of Rocky Mount as his primary coverage area. And since pallets can be often considered a commodity product by shippers and no contracts are in place between pallet manufacturers and shippers, East Industries uses a combination of low price and fast service to outcompete other pallet sources. To do so, East Industries offers a specialized pallet replenishment program which ensures that customers have ready-to-use pallets whenever they are needed. This lets customers reduce time spent tracking pallets, avoid disposal fees for damaged pallets, and maintain control of their pallet supply at all times. Dave Wilson also provides his customers with a computerized accountability system that saves them money. As part of his replenishment program, he sends a monthly spreadsheet indicating the status of all of a customer's pallets. Also, as part of this process, Dave established an incentive compensation program that directly incentivizes his employees. 
Because it requires such a fairly sophisticated system to keep track of pallet deliveries, pickups, and stored inventories, in 2003, East Industries was invited by Microsoft Corporation to participate in a beta test. Microsoft implemented a fully automated state-of-the-art system for the company that incorporates high-speed LAN, wireless, DSL, and tablet PC technologies that provide even greater efficiencies for the firm. But even with the Microsoft system in place, Dave Wilson also still maintains chalk and magnet boards to help his truck drivers and staff keep track of their next steps. Dave Wilson provides contributions to charitable organizations, and he is a member of both the Carolinas Gateway Partnership and the Rocky Mount Area Chamber of Commerce. In recognition of the development of his pallet manufacturing company and his specialized pallet replenishment program, NEAR is proud to recognize David Wilson as one of its 2011 Entrepreneur of the Year finalists.